Good morning, Anatomy students. I wanted to share with you, um, before we get started today, um, a demo on how to isolate the muscles you're looking for today and tomorrow. Um, so the first thing I want to do is just go through the list of muscles um, and show you what you need to look for. Um, this is listed on page 38 of your lab manual. Um, first, we're going to be seeing the sartorius muscle, which runs from the hip down to the knee. Um, that should be familiar to you. The next muscle we're going to be looking for is the tensor fascia lata. The tensor fascia lata is a pretty small muscle. It's the, this thin layer here that I'm lifting up. Um, and it is attached to a sheet of fascia that runs down over this larger muscle. You will probably cut off that layer of fascia, which is fine, but please make sure that you do not um, remove this flap of muscle as it is important. So sartorius, tensor fascia lata. Um, next, we're going to be looking for the gluteus maximus. Um, sometimes the membrane over the gluteus maximus is pretty firmly attached, so I would recommend using tweezers at that point, sort of lifting up and then taking small snips with your scissors um, to try to get underneath the membrane so that you can separate that. Um, moving towards the tail, we will see the caudofemoralis, which is this muscle right here. It's a little bit more difficult to isolate than some of the others, and I would recommend starting down towards the knee. Once you've separated out the biceps femoris, which is this larger triangular muscle, you're going to want to move up, find a, it'll be like a very faint white dividing line, and just get your probe in there and separate out between the biceps femoris um, and the cauto femoralis. All right. The next muscle we're going to look for is the semitendinosus, which is this small muscle at the base of the tail that's going to run down behind the biceps femoris. You will have probably have the most luck in separating this muscle out if you begin behind the biceps femoris and work up. Again, you're going to find a lot of fat back in here. However, um, there are also muscles that we need to keep, so don't be too aggressive with your fat removal um, behind the leg here. So you'll pull back on that a little bit to be able to see the separation point and then work up towards the base of the tail. All right, um, I think that's all the muscles that we'll need to identify today. Semitendinosus, biceps femoris, cauto femoralis, gluteus maximus, tensor fasciolata, and sartorius.